Let's look at the pH of a few solutions and try to predict which has the highest pH. So I'll have 10 to the minus 3 molar NaOH that totally dissociates into Na ions and OH minus ions. 10 to the minus 6 molar HCl, a strong acid, breaks up totally into the H3O plus and Cl minus. And 10 to the minus 12th molar HCl. So these are concentrations of strong bases, NaOH, completely dissociates, and strong acids, HCl, completely dissociates. So you won't find a Ka or a Kb for sodium hydroxide or HCl because they're essentially infinite. The reactions go very strongly towards complete dissociation. So consider these three solutions and see if you can determine which has the highest pH. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, OH minus is 10 to the minus 3, means H3O plus is 10 to the minus 11th, so the pH is 11, the highest of the three. B, pH is 6, which is higher than 3 and more than the concentration in C. And C, H3O plus is 10 to the minus 12, so the pH is 12, which is the highest of the three. Think about those three explanations and make a selection. We're looking at three solutions and trying to determine which has the highest pH. So let's look at each in turn. Here's sodium hydroxide, a strong base. It completely dissociates into Na and OH minus. So Na plus ions, OH minus ions will both be in 10 to the minus 3 molar concentration. So if you have an OH minus concentration of 10 to the minus 3, you immediately know the H3O plus concentration because these two are locked together by the fact that OH minus and H3O plus concentrations product is always 10 to the minus 14 in water. So if OH minus is 10 to the minus 3, H3O plus must be 10 to the minus 11. And now I can easily calculate the pH. The pH is minus log of 10 to the minus 11. That's 11. We have 10 to the minus 6 molar HCl, HCl, a strong acid, completely dissociates, donating its proton to water. So I'll form 10 to the minus 6 molar H3O plus. 10 to the minus 6 molar H3O plus gives me a pH of 6. 10 to the minus 12 molar HCl, very dilute HCl. Again, that'll totally dissociate, and I'll have an H3O plus minus uh, H3O plus concentration of 10 to the minus 12th from the HCl that I add. But here's where you must be careful. In water by itself, the concentration of H3O plus in neutral water is 10 to the minus 7. So if you have water and the H3O plus concentration is 10 to the minus 7, and you add this tiny amount of HCl, that adds a very small just 10 to the fifth less than is already there. So you barely change the pH of the pure water by adding this HCl. So indeed, the pH of this solution isn't 12. It's 7. It's adding an incredibly small amount. In fact, to get to the minus 10 to the minus 12th molar, it would be just a fraction of a microgram of HCl that you would blow into a liter of water. And of course, that's not going to change the pH. It's going to stay essentially pure water, pH of 7. So of these three, the highest pH is the NaOH solution, the basic solution with a pH 11.